Hi, Casper here from The Daily Drinker on the 19th of September 2014 and uh, I'm going to taste with you now the 2013 Zelavka, that's the grape variety, from the Stoby Winery in the Republic of Macedonia. So we're quite an exotic sort of uh, thing we've got here. Uh, it's quite a recent Daily Drinker and I haven't tasted it for a while. Always fascinating to go back to uh, wines I've selected. And I pulled this out, pale in colour, so pale lemon, very clear, limpid, distinct uh, bit of CO2 in the glass, just bubbles on the surface of the glass. Um, winemakers will often leave uh, CO2 in the wine to add a feeling of freshness, that sort of sp slight spritzy feeling which helps the acidity to, to keep the wine uh, feeling fresh in the mouth. It's a very spicy nose, sort of dried fruit. It's um, Quite particular, sort of dried, dried apricot maybe, but but none of the sweetness of dried apricot um, and a real dry sort of spiciness. To it. And the wine itself is 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 dry in the mouth, assertive, serious wine. It's got a touch of bitterness about it quite fresh enough and, and this profound sort of spiciness is, is you can find all the way through. Decent, decently long wine. Um, this uh, I haven't refrigerated for too long and I think it could be a, could be a bit colder than, than this. Um, and I certainly think this is a food wine and I would drink it with roast chicken, probably even, even pork. Um, and, tr and try it with cheese. I mean uh, dry white wine is always often a better option for cheeses, particularly hard cheeses and perhaps the younger goat's cheeses. Um, but yeah, a wine, of, a wine of assertive character and um, not one I would sit around drinking on its own, um, but I think with the right food, be extremely good.